it's hard to figure out what you're going to pay and uh, what you're going to risk getting cut off. Families struggling to make ends meet during the pandemic are now facing another financial hurdle. Enhanced unemployment benefits are set to end in a few days. The $600 a week that was approved by Congress in March. News H. Julia Dang is in the newsroom with more on what's next. Julia. Well, Kylie, lawmakers can't come to an agreement on extending the enhanced benefits. Republicans proposing to cut the amount to $100 a week. Democrats pushing to continue the current payments until next year. Amid the gridlock, Hoosier families are hurting. I'm just hoping that I can make it the next month. At the end of this month, enhanced unemployment benefits boosting jobless payments by $600 a week are said to expire. Essentially, that's the only thing that gets us through. We don't know what we're going to do. It comes as Indiana reports a new single day high for COVID cases. And Marion County rolls back reopening plans amid a jump in positivity rates. We are announcing temporary restrictions. With the worsening pandemic, some Hoosiers can't or don't don't feel safe to go back to work. Cheyenne, a former prison guard who requested we don't use her last name, says her eight-year-old son has an autoimmune condition. So he'll pick up colds and flus like it's nothing. Cynthia Adams, a school cafeteria manager, worries her district, like others, will move toward virtual only learning. Our return date is August 17th, but due to the COVID-19, we don't know. You know, I don't think we're going back. Lawmakers opposed to extending the enhanced benefits at the current rate believe the payments remove incentive to find work. Aaron Macy with the Indiana Institute for Working Families says that's not true for most Hoosiers. If that $600 boost goes away, we estimate that the average benefit would be around $300 a week. Rent for Cheyenne's family is $850 a month. For Cynthia, about $1,000. Rental assistance programs are nearly maxed out, and come July 31st, the statewide eviction moratorium is also set to end. So I think this extended benefit is really essential, not just for those individual families, but also to keep our economy afloat. A restaurant manager in Greenwood posted online her employees refused to work more than two days a week in order to continue collecting unemployment benefits. Now, we did reach out to that manager for an interview. We have not heard back. Live in the newsroom, Julia Dang, WishTV and WishTV.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook. Julia, thank you.